In this video, we're going to continue solving equations with absolute value to find the two solutions that x could be representing, what two numbers work in the equation. However, this time it's not just going to be an absolute value equals a number. Now there'll be more stuff to the problem. We need to remember before we look at our two equations, we must first isolate the absolute value. As we get that absolute value alone, so we can do the positive or negative thing, we have to remember a couple things to avoid that can get us in trouble. First, we will never, never, ever, never, never distribute through an absolute value. If I have something like 5 times the absolute value of 2x minus 3, we'll call it negative 5, we cannot distribute through the absolute value. That does not work. Never do that. Bad. Another thing that you must never, ever, never, never do with absolute value is combine a term with an absolute value and a term without an absolute value. That doesn't work either. 5 minus 2, absolute value of x plus 1. Combine the 5 and minus 2 to get 3, absolute value of x plus 1. That's bad. Whoops. That's bad also. Bad. Never do that, because the 5 and the negative 2 are not like terms. The 2 has an absolute, the 5 does not. If they're not like terms, we're not allowed to combine them. So make sure you avoid those two things. Never distribute through absolute, and never combine an absolute with a non-absolute. With that in mind, let's take a look at solving this equation. 5 plus 2, absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 11. The catch is the absolute value is not alone, so we can't do the positive or negative 11 thing yet. So we get it alone by getting rid of the 5 and the 2, just like if the equation was 5 plus 2y equals 11. Notice the y is replacing the absolute value part. We're going to solve both of these the same way. We get rid of the 5 by subtracting, and then we get rid of the 2. Same thing with this problem. Remembering, we're trying to get the absolute value alone, so we subtract 5 from both sides. When we do, we get 2 times the absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 6. And then finally, we'll divide both sides by 2, because it's 2 times the absolute. Dividing by 2 leaves the absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now that we have the absolute value alone, we're ready to solve by saying what's inside the absolute could be positive or negative. Positive or negative 3. So 3x minus 4 equals positive 3, and 3x minus 4 equals negative 3. And now I have two two-step equations we can quickly solve. Add 4 to both sides, giving us 3x equals 7. And then finally, dividing by 3 to get our first answer that x is equal to the fraction 7 thirds. Similarly, we get our second answer by adding 4 to both sides on the second equation, giving us 3x equals 1. And then finally, dividing both sides by 3, giving us x equals 1 third. We have two solutions for x, 7 thirds and 1 third. Let's take a look at one more example, where we have to get the absolute value alone before we can do anything else with it. Here we have negative 3 minus 7, absolute value of 2 minus 4x equals negative 31. To start getting that absolute value alone, so we can do the positive or negative thing, we need to first 
add or subtract and multiply and divide to get the absolute value alone. The negative 3 stands alone, so we'll take him out first. By adding 3 to both sides, giving us negative 7, absolute value of 2 minus 4x equals negative 28. That's negative 7 times the absolute value, so we get rid of it by dividing both sides by negative 7. And that leaves us with the absolute value of 2 minus 4x is equal to positive 4. Now the absolute value is alone, so we know what is inside the absolute must be either positive or negative 4. 2 minus 4x equals positive 4, and 2 minus 4x equals negative 4. And we can solve these equations. Subtract 2 from both sides, negative 4x equals 2, and finally divide by negative 4. And when we reduce the fraction, we get x is equal to negative 1 half for our first solution. In the second equation, we subtract 2 from both sides, giving us negative 4x equals negative 6. And finally, dividing by negative 4 gives us x equals negative divided by negative is a positive, 3 halves. So when we're solving with an absolute value equation, we know that the absolute value must be alone before we can do the positive or negative.